Okay. Please note that all information in the development blog is preliminary and subject to change during testing. Any showcased features may or may not end up on the main server. The final information will be published on our game's website. Researchable American battleships Kansas, Minnesota, Vermont and Tier 7 American battleship Florida will be added to the game in the upcoming super test session. So the line split will occur from the Colorado. You get the current line and then you get the new line of mobility, I mean, <clears throat> thick battleships <laughs> of uh, Kansas. That is, that is literally, it literally looks like Colorado, except they added turret. They added, they added the gun to each turret. But these are going to be, as far as I understood, 16 inch. So 406 millimeter guns. So um, in terms of broadside, this is literally a Montana broadside at tier eight in terms of broadside firepower. So that's a, that's a lot of shooter, you know. That's a lot of shooter Reno. The downsides obviously well, can be seen just how big it is, how big of a target it is, how high it sits above the water, and if it's anything like Colorado, how easily it's going to be farmed, HE spammed, and so forth. Kansas has a revolving restaurant for the bridge by the looks of it. <laughs> okay, buddy. Okay, good one. And then we have the Minnesota. Jesus also sits incredibly high in the water and as far as I know, the same amount of guns and it looks like the classic American doctrine um, of late war which is basically if there's empty space you put a gun there and that's kind of what we're looking at right now guns on every open empty spot so these are Montana guns tier 9 Minnesota and then finally we have the Vermont Oh man, look at the size difference. This is going to be a big ship, isn't it? This not only does this sit quite as high as this thing, but look at the length of this ship. This is a huge ship. Let's make no mistake about it. this is an absolutely huge ship. So much superstructure, so much area to shoot, so much broadside. Like you joke about you can't hit the broadside of a barn where th this thing right here literally is the broadside of a barn like holy crap that's a lot of area to shoot three funnels as well and of course the thing with this ship is that these guns are 18 inches which means 457 millimeters uh, and it's got 12 of them so that means completely ridiculous firepower However, the details of the stats, we can we will look at them those in just in a bit. Keep in mind though that this means that we have yet another battleship at tier 10 that completely ignores 30 millimeter armor, which cruisers have. This means we have uh, Yamato, uh, Kremlin, Republic, Thunderer, Shikishima. What else do we have? That's five. That's at least five. Which one did I miss? I missed one, didn't I? I guaranteed missed one. Ohio. Oh yeah, Ohio has four, five, seven. And then we have Vermont. So that's going to be seven tier 10 battleships that completely ignore all 30 millimeter plating. And how much, the, another question is how much will this, once again, kind of power creep the Montana? And the Grosse Korforst because they're like the only two battleships left that actually are countered by 30 millimeter plating. Monte it, it, Conquer doesn't care because he's spamming HE and Borgonia kind of doesn't care either because he also spams so much HE. <laughs> so yikes. Um, 30, this just means 30 millimeter plating gets power crept even harder. Even harder. Which something obviously I do not like. And then we have the Florida, the tier 7 battleship premium. I find it pretty impressive that uh, they just released the California and they're already power creeping it. Because this one has 12 guns in a different setup, of course, but still. That was all like. 
California la California lasted twenty four hours uh, twenty four hours of being bad, and then it was already power crept. That's pretty impressive. Battleships of the new sub branch will have devastating salvos. For example, Vermont has twelve eighteen inch guns. Note that 18 is not the same as 18.1. This is something people who look at calibers in inches and not in millimeters often confuses. Yamato is capable of overmatching 32 millimeters plating because Yamato has 18.1 inch guns. At the time, obviously, that really had no real effect, uh, like the difference wasn't noticeable. But in World of Warships, having 18.1 means you have 460 millimeter guns, which means you overmatch 32 millimeters of plating. But having only 18 inch guns means you have 457 millimeter guns, which is not enough to overmatch 32. So that 18.1 is very, very important in World of Warships. But long main battery reload time, low speed and relatively light armor. <laughs> low speed and relatively light armor is a really, really bad combination for a battleship. Really bad combination. Florida is a representative of the same battleships as subclass, same battleship subclass as Champagne and Slava. She has good accuracy but weak armor and relatively high sitting citadel. This is terrible. I hate this. Because we do not need more ships like this. We don't need more long-range campers. We don't need more defensive passive battleships. We want more aggressive ones. Having Putting in these ships that are squishy and are forced to sit in the back while you have carriers and all these HE spammers and new torpedo spammers like the Holland means that these battleships are never ever gonna push in anywhere and they're just gonna sit back and snipe with those devastating salvos. We don't near need more battleships like this. We don't need the game in general to be moving in this direction. It's a terrible direction to be moving in. The, the absolute opposite. The absolute opposite of what we want. Okay, the German battleship Brandenburg 8 is added to the game. The characteristics of this ship are currently in the preliminary balancing stage and will be published when they are ready. Okay, interesting, humble, German BB. Virtus Incognito, thank you for the Let's look at some details more humble than you would understand. Kansas. So, we're gonna take a look. first we're going to take a look at Kansas. Tier Never before eight. was I less excited about a new ship line than today with the new US battleships. These thick, tumbling turds. Mm. Well, we shall see. Hit point 67,000. That is... What is North Carolina's health pool? 66,000? I think it's 66 game. So it has 1,000 health more. Uh, 32 millimeters plating. Main battery 4x3406. Firing range 22. This is good. Looks like standard HE with fairly standard velocity. AP shell damage. Oh, this is important. AP shell velocity is seven six eight. If I don't, if I don't uh, misremember, um, North Carolina's AP has seven o two. So this is the slightly faster AP that we're shooting. It's still very slow, but it's still slightly faster than the North Carolina shells. Reload time. <coughs> I'm sorry. What? Forty seconds. 40 seconds that is wow that is absolutely brutal that means that even with okay if i have improved expert loader like halsey slotted it takes me 10 seconds to switch ammunition time and god forbid if i shoot my guns and i get rushed by anyone that's going to take a very long time to recover so these ships will be incredibly punishing of having your guns on reload 180 degree turn time, 45 seconds. I guess even with the Tillman designs, they did not manage to match the Soviet Union's fantastic turret traverse. That is unfortunate. Maximum dispersion, 287. Sigma, 1.7. Oof. 1.7. That is... See, that leads me to this situation I worry about where you have a really long time of reloading. First of all, it takes a long time to turn your turrets. And then it takes a really long time for your shells to actually hit the target. And then you have to wait a really long time. And then you're even stuck with a poor Sigma on the volley. <sighs> this seems like a very unfun experience to play. 
This seems like a very unfun experience to play. Secondary armament, 8x227, range 5. Okay, so secondary builds are not viable at all. That is, wait, that's all it has. One set of secondary with no, oh wow. So that means this thing is going to be brutally vulnerable to destroy a rush. Because you, 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 we're talking 40 seconds before you can shoot. AA defense, 2x, 23x2, what are we talking? Auras, 280. That's actually a really good short range, but it's very short. Mid range, only 3.5. It's pretty good though. Long range, 147. The AA is actually pretty good. The AA values are pretty good. I mean, but obviously that's not going to stop a tier 10. Um, but it will make you a less appealing target to a tier 8. But that's about it. Maximum speed, 23 knots. Oof, that is, that is really, that is so rough. You put a speed flag on this thing and you're doing what? 24.3? I think 24.3 with a speed flag. Jesus. That is a turning circle radius 700 meters. It turns on a dime, right. but that's mostly because it's so damn slow. 40 seconds reload Life is like a meter. phlegmatic couple making out. She sits on top and both wait for an earthquake. <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> Thank you for that input, wife of detonator. <laughs> Rudder shift time 15.7. Surface detectability 16.6. 16 16.6. Wait, what do we get? How, how do we do that? We multiply 0 0.9 times 0. Point, what is it? What do you get from the concealment module? Isn't it another 0 0.9? That's not going to be very good, is it? And then what is, what is camo? 0 0.03? times 16.6 is shit that's going to end up being trashed here isn't it that's going to end up being trashed here we're going to add a, what 13 point yeah no sorry 97 uh, x 0 0.9 x 0 0.97 we're gonna end up with oof. What was the base value? 16.6. 1304. 1304. Oof. 13 that that's North Carolina. Now keep in mind that North Carolina uh, at tier eight reaches a concealment. Is it he it had really good concealment. Twelve point eleven point nine maybe even? 11.9, maybe even, or was it 12.2, 12.7, was it really that far, let me double check that, I remember NC's concealment being exceptionally good for its tier, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, North Carolina, you guys are saying it's very poor, but I don't remember it being quite that far, it is 12.3. That is actually okay. So this is going to be 13. You're not known to be a humble. Yikes. Man. Okay. I am actually humble. I think I'm much more humble okay. than you okay. would so This is going to be wow. 13 kilometers. 23 knots from T8 to T10. Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z. Z. So th this this is really worrying to me because 23 knots which is significantly slower than North Carolina, uh, which poorer concealment than North Carolina, and absolutely no secondary power and a very long reload. This thing is going to be so very vulnerable to just, just being rushed down, or let alone just being farmed down. Jeez, this is... Kansas is 12.7. Really? I ended up with 1304. Is my math wrong? Can someone double check my math? Is my math wrong? I might have and entered it in the wrong. Isn't it 0x 0 0.9x 0 0.9x 0 0.97 times the concealment? 
It's 13.04. Okay, so then, then I'm perfectly correct. And the, the guys in chat are full of nonsense. All right, okay. But still, that, that's, that's really bad. That's really bad. That is actually really, really worrying. Um, better, like the torpedo belt is not mentioned here. And um, I would expect the torpedo belt to actually be very, very good because look at this. There should be a lot of torpedo belt here. So at least it needs to get that. But even then I can see this being a very anemic and a very anemic experience. Um, especially if you're up tier. Oof. All we'll right. Let's be honest. Wargaming is just releasing new things to stay relevant and keep filling their pockets. The game is fucked. Five more years and the game will die out and the devs will have to find some new asses to kiss so they can buy a tin of beans. But I mean, there, there's plenty of, there are plenty of ships that could be built. Uh, I, w I predicted that this line would come out. I predicted it very correctly because 4th of July and so forth, it made sense. But, um, hello, Italians. <laughs> hello, Italians. Anyways, let's move on to the Minnesota. Tier 9. Hell, hit point 76.3. What does Iowa have? Iowa has 78.9, right? I think I was 78.9. Or is it 79? Hmm. Regardless, that's that's about I think it was 78.9. So this thing has less health than the Iowa. And Iowa's strength is is very, very fast. Main battery 4x3, once again, firing range is great, H is great. HE shell, decent. AP is once again that same. This is a very slow AP shell velocity. And Americans tend to have a lot of air drag as well. Um, oh, what is the heal capacity? This is standard 0 0.66, isn't it? This is standard 0 0.66 heal, which the Montana and all American BBs have. Um, yeah, it's 28.442. So... You're, you're healing 12k per heal. Yeah, that's that's standard heal. That's standard American heal, 0.66% heal. Okay, so that's not really anything special. Reload time, 40 seconds at tier 9. Now, you're going to be able to impact this at tier 9, though. You're going to be able to slot the module that reduces it by 12%. So you're going to get it down to about 35 second reload. You're going to get a, it has a faster heal reload, 80. That's standard American. 80 is standard American. This is this is not Massachusetts heal. This is standard American heal. 80 second duration or reload. Oh, but Americans slot the dispersion module. You're right. So you're not you're not actually gonna get it down. Arra, arra, you're, my ass you're gonna is be blasted. stuck with what this. Bordel, thank you for the 18. Shit, you're completely right, Chen. Oof, well, that's rough. Hmm. Sigma 1.7 as well. I mean, you will get the improved dispersion from the modules, but even then. But the problem is, you got to remember, even though um, American battleships can slot. See, Americans have the thing where they can, at tier 9 onwards, they can slot this thing, which is best in slot. Basically, this one is great. Plus 11%. But people tend to think that this plus 11% makes it super accurate compared to others. But you got to remember that in order to be able to slot this, Americans can't actually slot the dispersion module here. Um, basically, this one. So they lose out on the 7% dispersion to get the 11%. Um, but they, they have to trade the reload for it. So ultimately, the American trade-off is pretty goddamn shit. It's pretty goddamn shit. It's not nearly as good as you might really think. If you could stack both, it would be something else, but because you only can use one, it's not really that good. It's just a 4% buff. Can you make your mic louder? Shit, isn't it pretty goddamn loud already? Let me check. Uh, maybe I'll just move it closer. Maybe I'll just speak up a bit more. Maybe I'll just speak up a bit more. How about that? Sorry, I just, uh, I've had a long day, and I'm, or sorry, this long morning and I'm get, still getting coffee in me. Let me wake up a bit. 
Mike is fine. Okay, good. So, secondary armament, range 6. Well, 6 is a bit better. But 8x2, that's very unimpressive. And that's still not enough. Like this, this you can't build secondaries out of this. So secondaries are completely out of the question once again. It, even then, the shell velocity would have been questionable with so few guns. Okay, uh, AA defense. Ooh, well, this thing has very good mid to short range AA. This is very good values. In fact, uh, at short range, there's going to be a lot of stacking AA on top. So the values are actually very high here. Number of explosions, six. That's actually pretty decent. So the continuous DPS is good. Maximum speed 23 knots. Oof, that is so that is so rough. Because you gotta remember, these things are okay. Let's say you're trying to push in on this thing. These things are thick. This is build or this is like California kind of build um, in terms of thickness. And why is this why why is this something worth highlighting? Because well, if you look at California, when you're trying to push in on this thing, arra, arra, my ass is blasted. This is the, the profile. Fuck? You present. My grandfather survived pepper spray and mustard gas attacks in two wars and came home to us a seasoned veteran. <laughs> seasoned. <laughs> yeah, this is how thick. Why like... are the loaders in this new mm -hmm. line also in wheelchairs? Is Roosevelt himself loading the guns? So you're gonna That's consider this thing is gonna be horrendously wide. And with new lines like Holland in the game, which for you would shoot these incredibly narrow torpedoes. Even nose in, you're going to be eating a shit ton of torpedoes. So really, the only thing you had going for you would have been some term, something in terms of speed. But this complete lack of speed and this thickness, you're kind of like a blob. Um, the Holland torping someone this slow is going to have such an easy time torping him. Like, Holland is never going to miss against this guy. You're never actually going to miss. It's going to be so easy to hit this guy. Surface detect same as earlier, so 1304 with the full build. Yikes, damage control, repair party same, 0.66% heal, fighter spotting. Honestly, uh, this is going to be so awkward to play. It, it, uh, I have such a hard time seeing what is the good side. Like, good, oh sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, 237, oh it's worse, it's actually worse. 17.5, wait, where, where do we end up here? Oh god, I thought it was gonna be at least somewhat good. That's 13.74, so 13.7. 13.7. Ah, that's bad. That is not good at all. Oh man, that's gonna be brutal. 13.7. You're gonna be farmed so hard in this thing. You're, you're just gonna be farmed so hard in this thing. Uh, like you're gonna be everyone's favorite target. If I'm an H, if I'm a cruiser, I'm gonna shoot at this thing. Uh, first of all, the H shells are gonna be very easy to land because he's so slow, so uh, you don't have to take a lot of lead, and hitting him is gonna be painfully easy. The armor plating is 32, so I'm absolutely gonna be pinning and doing tons of damage to him. The superstructure is gigantic. So there's so much surface area to farm. He can't outrun me. Um, he can't disengage. Jesus. Well, and even even with AA, a carrier is also gonna love dropping this thing. Like if you come in as a carrier to drop this from the front, it's like impossible for the bombs to miss. The ellipse is gonna be like smaller than the ship itself. Oof. American Battleship Vermont, tier 10, hit points 102.8, so less than Grosse Korfurst and less than Kremlin. Kremlin is 105, Grosse Korfurst 108, uh, plating 32, so this is a very nice XP pinata to farm, a very nice damage pinata. Got a lot of range, 4x3, 4, 5, 7. Once again, 457 is very very useful because you overmatch 30 but it's not enough to overmatch 32 millimeters of plating. Kremlin is 108. Oh yeah sorry Kremlin is 108, Cross Court Force is 105. <laughs> I can't believe I just put the German ship in front of a Soviet ship. Whoa whoa my bad. Uh, the other way around. The other way around. My bad. My bad. Uh, chance to cause fire 43. 
HG shell velocity is actually slower. Yeah, 820 to 800. AP, oh, this is the slow AP. This is the super slow AP. 732, holy crap, this is gonna be slow, 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 slow. Maximum is version 305. That is pretty gigantic, isn't it? Wait a minute, 305? It's Ohio's AP Alpha, which means the broadside can hit like an absolute truck. It's Ohio with four guns more. But the 40 second reload with that shell velocity? Actually, now I'm curious. Um, Ohio, where are you? Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. What's your shell velocity? Yes, yeah, it's, it's the same, exactly the same as Ohio guns. It's basically Ohio guns then. It is basically Ohio guns with worse Sigma and is it worse dispersion actually? I think it's gonna be worse dispersion. It might no, it might actually be identical dispersion. It's ident it's, it's identical dispersion. So the only difference is gonna be worse sigma. The only difference is gonna be worse sigma. Standard American dispersion with worse sigma and well, hmm. Damn, that could and significantly worse reload. Of course, you get twenty seven point five on the Ohio with the reload mod. Um, on this thing, you're gonna have forty seconds, so you get fifty percent more guns at the cost of twelve and a half seconds of reload. Jesus, that's almost fifty percent more reload compared to compared to Ohio's reload. Jesus, that is actually almost fifty percent. Holy shit, thirteen point what seventy five would be half fifty percent more. So this is almost fifty percent more reload and worse sigma to get this harder hitting broadside. Huh? So, Jesus. Okay. Interesting. Secondary, once again, completely unusable. AA defense. Oh my lord. Continue short range 424, mid range 536. So if you go into mid, mid range, mid short range, your planes are just going to evaporate. Well, not quite, but that's going to be. It's, it's only 70% hitch. Wait, why is it only 70? 70 and 75. Yeah, so it's not actually going to be that if it's going to be strong. Don't get me wrong. This is going to be strong AA. So it's going to be very strong against uh, bombers and rocket planes. But I can absolutely see um, Hakuryu and such just dropping torpedoes outside of this range. I could see carriers dropping AA outside or dropping torps outside of this range and just uh, recalling the planes because um, you're not going to outrun any torpedoes in this thing. 23 knots. So this thing is also a 23. I think Hakuryu just torping it from range would dumpster it. Maximum speed 23. <laughs> Whoa, my God. Okay, yeah, this thing, whole, this thing better have the best torpedo belt in history. Holy shit, this thing is gonna get torpedoed. Holy shit, is this the strongest broadside in the game? Yes, absolutely. The alpha damage is by far the highest in the game. 960 meter rudder shift 19.1 jesus you get a 20 percent dot but you don't what do you want to build a 20 percent? i don't think you do you're going like you have to run fire reduction on this thing because you're going to be h spam like mad like absolutely h spam like mad who's not going to shoot okay off surface detectability 18 wait 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 this is going to break 14 isn't it? it's going to be 14 point something this is going to be 14.14 so 14.1 isn't that montana's concealment off off so this thing has that's yamato concealment yeah quite sure montana's better no montana is something 14 ish as well so it's going to be roughly around montana yamato concealment but the difference is the speed is completely non-existent. Jesus. The heel is looks like standard heel, standard cooldown. I, I, I feel if anything, this would be the time to throw these things a bone by giving them the American gimmick, the Massachusetts, Ohio, or Georgia gimmick of shorter reload, 
the 40 second cooldown heals instead of the 80 second cooldown heals because imagine you push up well actually this is the thing you are never going to push up in these things you are never going to push up in these things like you maybe if you have perfectly scouted every single ship on the enemy team then you can push up but pushing in without knowing the location of every single enemy ship is going to get you farmed so hard I mean, any torpedo boat is going to be able to hit this thing. Even Yamato, even Shimakaze, 20 km torps are probably going to be able to hit this thing. Because if you see the torps and you start turning, you have to wait for this long ass rudder shift, this huge turning circle. And then the ship is so fucking slow, it takes you so long to even evade the torpedoes that you're probably going to eat 20 km torps as well. Like, <sighs> this, this thing is going to be everyone's favorite target. This thing is going to be everyone's favorite target. Jesus. Tier 23 knots. So speed flag 24.3? 24.3 speed flag. Sorry, 24.1. Jesus. And if it's anything like um, the California, for those that are not aware, California is so thick that whenever you turn in the California. German BBs will still not do damage to them because Hans and Franz are drunk. They had too much schnapps and cannot shot straight. Hmm, indeed. The thing is, uh, the one of the great weaknesses of the California is even though the speed is listed at 21.5, the thing is so big and so clumsy that every time you make even the smallest adjustment, the smallest turning to shoot your guns or whatever, you bleed a ton of speed. And because it's so big and clumsy, it takes you such a long time to make up that speed again. So in essence, you're actually, if you ever look at your speed when you're moving around in the ship, you're actually not moving at 21.5, you're moving around at roughly 15 knots. These things are even huge, even bigger with poorer rudder shift and poorer turning circle. These things are going to bleed so much speed every time they do anything. Every time. Oh my god, that engine. Oh, that is so sad. No wonder it's got so issues. Unless they have some really, really magical, super-powered engines in those things, um, the speed is going to become a massive issue. Because not just is, it, is the listed speed extremely underwhelming, uh, it doesn't take into account how much speed you're going to be losing doing any sort of maneuvers. So you're, you're below 20 is much more accurate. 20, like I mean, you, most of the time you're not gonna be doing anywhere above 20. You're gonna be moving at 15 to 20. So it, it, you are such the an easy target. The tier has the AP damage of Colorado shells. The tier nine has the AP damage of Iowa shells. Different guns shooting the different AP shells at the same speed. Hmm. <laughs> Roger. Overall, uh, Pushing in with this thing, like, you, you run into anything. Uh, you better hope you'll blap him, because if you don't, well, then you're stuck waiting 40 seconds to take another shot. And during that, I mean, the worst part is, when, once people realize this reload is 40 seconds, like, you're, you're literally gonna, gonna have cruisers, like, park full broadside in front of you for 30 seconds, just farm, 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 farm. Oh, it's probably reloaded now. Time to start accelerating and moving again. And then when you shoot, you're stuck with this slow ass shell velocity that if the cruisers maintain any sort of distance they're gonna easily dodge and then as soon as they've dodged that shell they can literally full park again and just farm 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 for fucking half a minute like it's gonna be so rough you can't hunt them down you can't outrun them these things are gonna sit and spawn like mad because it's gonna be so hard to play them anywhere else it's gonna be so incredibly difficult to play them anywhere else than basically sitting and spawn sniping these are going to be short batteries. Your Nevsky will spam you from 19 kilometers. <laughs> yeah. Like, they are co-op queens. Yeah, the, the current situation is... Uh, f I think these, if anything, need the, need the plating boost. But then on the other hand, if they... I don't know. It's just everything about this seems terrible. They, like, I'm trying to imagine playing this ship and I, I get this... I get this idea of a Colorado in tier 10 with longer reload. And I can't for the life of me ever 
even imagine anyone having said, man, Colorado was so much fun. I wish I could play this thing in tier 10. Like, what? 32 will be only Bowen's turn. Yeah, but the thing is, let's see, the, do you really like, first of all, the bow is going to be this large. The bow, this is all going to be, if there's anything like uh, uh, Vladivostok, this is all going to be bow. The superstructure is gigantic. This is not a Kremlin superstructure, which is basically this one smokestack in the center. No, this is a huge American smokestack. It's going to be so much to farm. Even if they buff the deck armor up, like even if they give it some 40, 50, whatever millimeter plating deck armor, it's still going to be so incredibly vulnerable to spam. We'll see. We'll see. Too early. I mean, these are just preliminary stats. Keep in mind, things can change, things can blah, blah, blah. But uh, from, from just a gameplay perspective, <laughs> these don't look particularly fun to play, do they? This is like, I take a shot. I shoot someone once, and then I literally, I go take a dump, uh, I throw out the trash, I take a shower, I make my coffee, I can sit back, and then I still have to wait for the reload. Like, it's going to be such a frustrating experience. Alright, let's see. American Battleship Florida, tier 7. 63.8k health. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of health. I mean, I've even heard of tier 8 battleships having... 10k less health, 11k less health. So at tier 7, that's a lot of health actually. Uh, 25 millimeters, 3x4, 356 millimeters. Okay, 356 at tier 7 starts to become a fairly big weakness. Uh, firing range 18.6. That's decent. <coughs> that is decent. HE shell 5k, 30% fire chance. Oh, pretty good velocity. AP 10.5. Yeah, it's standard. 823. Reload 30, Sigma 1.7. Hmm. This, hmm. this might actually be pretty interesting. Hmm. This might be pretty interesting. Secondary armament, 5km, so obviously you're not going to build it. US 356s have similar pen to the 305s, on Alaska at least. Sinop has 65k and special Rusky plating. We do not speak of Tovarich Sinop. AI defense is, well, actually pretty decent again. This is for tier 7, this is pretty nice. This is pretty nice, AI, no joke. For tier 7, not bad at all. According to the parameters, battle cruiser dispersion formula. Maximum speed 27. Okay, so with speed flag 28.4, 28.45. So this thing is going to be pretty fast. Sorry, 35. Yeah. Um, turning circle, pretty nice as well. Render shift. So, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, it's actually not that bad because you cancel up the a tier eight module. You cancel up the tier eight module, so you end up with twelve point one. Twelve point one surface detection. God damn. That's actually pretty good for tier seven. Uh, uh, uh. Damage control repair party. Standard repair. Only three though. Defensive AA fire. Okay. Florida has the potential of perhaps being played kind of on the flank or maybe even in the center. You could use the concealment plus the AA and the defensive AA to discourage carriers from harassing you. And then you could potentially create crossfires with this 356 millimeter guns because you get a pretty hard hitting broadside. At tier, uh, tier 8, planes will probably be able to do a lot of damage, but tier 6 probably won't be able to touch you, honestly. With this much AA and defensive AA, they're, they're not going to be wanting to throw away their planes. 25mm um, plating is, is, is that standard tier 7. Actually, it's, I think standard tier 7 is 26 now. Didn't they change that? Shit, do I misremember? Let me check. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. I think they changed it to 26, yeah, so it's got 25, so slightly less than the standard. Okay. The difference it makes is rather small, though. The difference it makes is rather small. Um, I guess the HE spam potential is there. But overall, in, in actual usage, the difference is going to be pretty small. 
Cruises can pin 25 without the IFHE, yeah, but most will be specking it. I guess um, it, it will make you more, a bit more vulnerable. It depends on what your deck armor will be and what your upper build will be. If it's all 25, then you're going to be quite vulnerable to HE spam. Um, Florida actually looks pretty interesting. And it's already power creeping to California. <laughs> it already looks more interesting. Doesn't Nagata 410 or a match 27? Nagata 410 or a match is 27 millimeters. So, yes, it will easily or a match 25. Colorado 4, 406 is also or a match is 27. Uh, in terms of fighting other battleships, having 25 or having 26 millimeter makes absolutely no difference. 380 millimeter guns or a match 26 point something. So, they're going to overmatch both 25 and 26, so it really doesn't matter. And 356 is can't or a match, so it doesn't matter. So. 25 or 26 in terms of battleship fighting has no impact. It's against cruisers that this can be a weakness. Overall though, I'm sad that the premium is the most interesting ship of this entire upcoming line. There's already been a lot of memes, mobility scooters and all that, but that's because speed is so important in World of Warships, especially in a battleship. Being able to push in quickly or disengage quickly are both things that kind of allow some battleships to shine and this huge size with size with no maneuverability no concealment means that <sighs> i'm gonna be shooting this thing so much yeah i read the bottom line i saw this brandenburg 8 like <sighs> i can already imagine vermont versus conquer conquer just parks angled and Vermont 457 can't match his 32mm plating, and then he just blaps you for 10 to 15k HE per volley, and you're burning all over, and then you have to slowly try to turn around and start running away, and then he like pushes to half speed and keeps up with you and keeps spamming you. Like, holy Jesus, it's gonna be nightmarish. In fact, most of these ships are gonna be extremely vulnerable to HE spam. Well, we'll see. Um, it, it can maybe be adjusted by maybe fiddling with damage control, fiddling with repair party. Fiddling with repair party is not really that good of a solution because it just makes you even more of a farming pinata. Because uh, if you if you if you're running through all these heels with a forty second cooldown, but you still get disengaged and you're still being farmed, well, it's not really helping you a whole lot, is it? Um, we'll see. Kind of. Um, mixed feelings about this line personally i would have loved to see the italian battleship line but i have no doubt it's coming probably might even be this year so italian battleships are absolutely going to arrive would have liked to see them now but i guess maybe they still have something to figure out or maybe they just really wanted to release this line for july 4th no clue or announce it but it seems very questionable very very questionable right <sighs> 